we just got a ton of new info on the RTX 50 series. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by VIPCDKDeals.com. CDK Deals is a website dedicated to getting you the best prices on games and software, and right now you can get a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for an insanely low price. Just find the best price and apply my special discount code GPC20 for an additional 30% off. You can also check out securely with PayPal, and once the payment is cleared, you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate the new copy of Windows 10, just search Activate Under Windows and type in your key. So if you want to learn more, be sure to click the link in the description below. Okay, so a couple of leakers just dropped a ton of information on the 50 series. I know it keeps coming in hot, thick, and heavy, boys, but yes... There's more. This time we got some information both from Red Gaming Tech, a well-known leaker over on YouTube. And of course, I'll have both of these sources linked in the description below. And then the second person who dropped some info was actually the well-known Twitter leaker, Copite7Kimi. And they both do have a track record of having a ton of stuff right when it comes to GPUs in the past. So while you should take this with a grain of salt, these aren't just some nobodies. So I took all the leaks and rumors that we've gotten so far and put them together and added in a little bit of speculation based on everything that I know to give you guys an idea of what the entire RTX 50 series is likely going to look like. So let's go ahead and take a look at this chart. And first, starting off with the RTX 5060. That's right. This thing is going to be an absolute monster when compared to the RTX 4060, as it looks like the SM count. And by the way, SM stands for streaming multiprocessor. And you can essentially think of these as the GPU cores. It's more complicated than that, but let's not get into it. Um, yeah, it basically has nearly double the amount of SMs of the RTX. RTX 4060. Now, the interesting thing about this GPU is that it's likely to be on the, I believe, Samsung 4 nanometer node, if the leaks from Red Gaming Tech are to be believed. And if that's the case, well, then the boost clocks of this card probably won't be improving too much. We're probably talking around 2.6 gigahertz, maybe 2.8 at the max. And then in terms of the memory, we're probably talking 12 gigabytes rather than eight this time, because I do believe this will be coming out late enough for them to take advantage of these new three gigabyte modules on GDDR. R7, and if that is the case, then yeah, this will be a huge jump up in terms of memory capacity, a great thing for gamers who are looking for a relatively affordable card. Also, the bandwidth should be nearly doubling, going from 272 on the 4060 to 448 gigabytes per second on this card thanks to GDDR7 and then the cache should be increasing to 32 megabytes over 24 on the 4060 and the performance overall in terms of rasterization and do be aware I'm just talking about rasterization today we will be talking about ray tracing at some point in the future so definitely get subscribed for that as it's going to be a massive leap when it comes to ray tracing and I do believe the 50 series will actually enable realistic and high performance looking ray tracing for the first time ever but in any case in terms of the rasterization we could be looking at nearly 80 5% higher performance out of the 5060 on paper when compared to the 4060. Now, do keep in mind on paper performance versus what you actually get in real games is going to be a little bit different. But regardless, it does look like if this information turns out to be true, that the 60 class will finally be getting the jump that it needs to join the modern era. Now, in terms of a release date, I'm actually expecting this one to come out late quarter two. 2025. So this is going to be the one that takes the longest to get out. So let's move on to some ones that are coming out a little bit sooner, such as the RTX 5070. Now this one also is going to be a pretty substantial jump. We're talking about 64 SMs versus 46 on the 4070. It's also going to be increasing the boost clock to 2.9 to potentially 3.1 gigahertz. Now I did hear Red Gaming Tech claim that they could be going for a low to mid three gigahertz. And if that's true, that is wild, but I'm going to be a little bit conservative. I don't think they're going to hit that. That just seems absolutely insane, but hey, I could be wrong. Now, in terms of the memory, probably talking about 12 gigabytes once again, because although this is actually moving to the TSMC 3 nanometer for all these cards going forward for the 5070, 5080, and 5090, which is really nice to see, they will likely be using only the 2 gigabyte modules and not the 3 gigabyte modules, as I don't think they'll be available in time to release with these cards, nor do I think NVIDIA is really interested in doing that when they can just release a refresh a year later with the three gigabyte modules at higher clock speeds to give you another reason to buy even more cards. I mean, let's be realistic, they're probably gonna do that. Now, in any case, yeah, 12 gigabytes once again. However, the bandwidth will be increasing from 504 to 672 gigabytes per second, also substantial jump from 36 to 48 megabytes of cache. And in terms of performance, probably around 60% higher on paper than the 4070. Really, really cool stuff. And this one will probably be launching early quarter two of 2025, so much sooner than that RTX 
5060. But what's coming out even earlier than that? The RTX 5080. This one's also going to be a huge jump. We're talking about 112 SMs. Again, 3 nanometer versus the 76 on 5 nanometer for the 4080. Once again, 2.9 to 3.1 gigahertz, 16 gigabytes of GDDR7, so the same amount of RAM as the 4080, but I think that's fine. 16 was good. And then also 896 gigabytes per second of bandwidth up from the 716 roughly on the RTX 4080. Now it will have, I believe the same amount of cache if Red Gaming Tech does have that correct. However, the performance overall should be on paper around 70% higher on this 5080 if it doesn't get cut down, which let's be honest, it definitely could, but that would actually be really good to see because that would mean the gap between the 80 and 90 class would shrink at least a little bit at least hopefully. Now, in terms of the release date for this one, it looks like we're probably talking mid quarter one, 2025. So again, much sooner, but the one that's gonna be coming out the soonest is gonna be the RTX 5090, or at least that's what leaks and rumors are suggesting. And that's what I believe myself as well. Now, this thing, once again, TSMC three nanometer. However, we're going up to 192 SMs over the 128 on the RTX 4090. Now, in terms of boost clock, probably three to 3.2 gigahertz on this thing, an absolute monster. 24 gigabytes of memory once again, but GDDR7, so running at 32 gigabits per second on a 384 bit buzz gets us 1,536 gigabytes per second and 96 megabytes of cache over the 72 on the 4090. And the overall performance could be on paper up to 1.8 times higher on the RTX 5090 when compared to the 4090. That is wild. And with a release date of potentially as early as likely December, that's actually not that far away. Sure, end of the year is still a little bit of a ways away, but it's not nearly as far as say the 5060. And this is something that you could buy maybe this year. And overall guys, it just seems like the RTX 50 series as a whole is gonna be a much better generation. I'm sure there'll be like a 5070 Ti with 16 gigabytes as well. But overall, it seems like, yeah, 12 gigabytes is gonna be the new minimum. That's great to see. And all the higher end cards will have a good amount of not only bandwidth and VRAM, but also massive performance uplift as well. And that 5060 getting a huge huge uplift. It's going to be great to see so that those things don't get left in the dust as they have been the last couple of generations. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that the 50 series could really be this fast? Or do you think this is maybe just being a little bit too optimistic? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.